from the book of Dad, a century, a century of the Springbok emblem, was also a very highly respected administrator in the game. Simo passed away. In the African 50, a full-time great players, and we lost him this week, just a few days short of his 17th birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, we will observe a moment of silence in the memory of Simo Silo Ujo. The Samoan mascot was Zima Molotto, the young lady, age 10, who's in grade 5. Big moments for these kids to come out and experience what Owen Kamani on field is experiencing. Always a great moment here at Loftus Mansfield witnessing the Springboks and the local resident always appreciate quality rugby. I mean, a good part of the all week and support silently and quietly, very confident, but they realize the hard yards and hard work ahead of, them, of the team. The players just been introduced to the Deputy Minister of Sport, Pat Wisthausen. Paul Williams has proved to be a real ambassador for Samoa. Of course, his dad, the great Brian, who uh, also was coach of Samoa for a while. They're very respectful people and quiet, quietly spoken. They don't tackle quietly though. No, they don't. But what is absolutely astounding is that they keep that real aggressive nature on the field after the game once the final whistle has gone. It is this, this God-fearing, wonderful bunch of people who have who get on so well with the opposition and are so friendly in their approach to life. The Honourable Mr. Wurstais is just shaking hands with Pascal Guzier, the referee, Nigel Hennessy and JP to all the assistant referees. Behind them, of course, Sir Egan Hoskins, the President of South African Rugby. In a moment we will have the national anthems, the Samoan national anthem beautifully sung on all two occasions and now for the third time by Zwai Bala and South Africa's and Corsa Sikileli Africa by Nicholas Lowe. You can imagine both teams are, I suppose, just put in a little bit of a pause mode by this introductory, introductory affair I suppose. The players would be very eager and keen to get on with it. All the tension and aggressive pulled up in the change room just ebbing away a little bit now. They'll take a moment off to the anthem to have a final word and regather their thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for so the now we pull to the crescendo of the opening moments of any test match. The national anthems.
Well, it's a uh, goosebumpful stuff. Fantastic. Just looking at that, doesn't look good to see. Had a chance last week to get back in the game. He'll be looking for more time today. See a Khaleesi, man of the match last week. Two will be looking to build on that, as will Jan Serpentine. And look out for that, Samoa and Fine Troy. Kiyi Paolo, Muli Paolo and Johnston. They'll have their work cut out later in the game. We'll look at two for Brandon Vaulu, who was a try scorer last week. And had a pretty good game at last minute notice. to the challenge but also the crowd here at Loftus Vassal stood on their feet anticipating respecting the challenge being laid by Samoa. A little more oomph in that challenge today as well wasn't there Aaron? Yeah the best I've seen I was lucky enough to see them train during the week before his high school they went through some of the rituals of of the challenge and then you see that this game means so much to them 